Welcome to the Go Mining Academy. My name is Jeremy Dreyer. I'm the Chief Business Development Officer at Go Mining, and I've been involved in Bitcoin and Bitcoin mining since 2017. I hope you enjoyed these courses. Lesson four, how to get and use Bitcoin. In the last three lessons, we explored why Bitcoin matters, from its origins during the 2008 financial crisis to how it offers a decentralized, secure, and inflation-resistant alternative to traditional money. You've learned how Bitcoin is created through mining, how it's protected by proof of work, and why its fixed supply gives its lasting economic value. Now it's time to bring that knowledge to life. In this lesson, we'll shift from the why and how it works to the how to actually use it. Whether you're saving, sending, spending, or securing Bitcoin, this is where Bitcoin moves from theory into your hands. Let's explore how to use Bitcoin in everyday life. In this lesson, you'll learn how to get Bitcoin, what kind of wallets exist and how to choose your first wallet, how Bitcoin transactions work, what you can buy with Bitcoin. This lesson is about what it really means to use Bitcoin, not just how to acquire it, but how to protect it, manage risks, and build confidence in your decisions. Whether you're just getting started or you already made your first purchase, this is where you begin to act with purpose, not just curiosity. Getting Bitcoin. There are three primary ways to acquire Bitcoin. Buy it. You can use a trusted exchange like Coinbase or Binance or other apps such as Revolut or Cash App. There are multiple other platforms that offer the same, but it's your responsibility to choose platforms with good reputations, transparent fees, and secure practices. And to stay on the safe side, start with small amounts in order to learn. Earn it. Some people skip exchanges entirely by accepting Bitcoin as payment for services or freelance work. This is especially common in global remote-first industries. Mine it. Mining Bitcoin requires equipment, electricity, and most importantly, knowledge. It's less accessible for beginners, but still a valid way to earn BTC directly from the network. There are different modes of mining, and we'll briefly cover the major ones. Solo mining. You buy and run your own ASIC miner, and you keep the entire reward in case you mine a block. The disadvantage is that you may run for months and never win a block. Additionally, it requires deep technical knowledge, access to low electricity fees, and some space to keep your machines in. Pool mining. In order to even out when you receive your Bitcoin rewards, you can join a mining pool, a group of miners who share computing power. When the pool finds a block, rewards are shared based on contribution. A few of the most popular mining pools are via BTC, Foundry USA, among others. Cloud mining. This is a way to mine Bitcoin without owning or managing the physical mining equipment yourself. Instead, you rent mining power, or hash rate, from a company that runs mining farms, and they pay you a share of the Bitcoin earned. Liquid Bitcoin hash rate, a hybrid model. You own the hash rate, but at the same time, don't have to worry about any of the technical issues that come with maintaining the work of the ASICs. This is Go Mining's model, where we fully take care of the latter and let you enjoy it.